If you want to work with Creative Commons licensed work for training or education, this video will explain how to collect Creative Commons works, how to properly cite them, and what to do if you want to alter a Creative Commons work and how to properly cite that alteration. This video sets you up for the next, which reviews the creation of open educational resources using open access materials which have Creative Commons licenses. What information should you include when citing a Creative Commons work? The acronym TASL covers the core information you should include. The goal is to make sure that anyone who wants to track down the original themselves has all the information they need to do that. TASL stands for T Title, A Author, S Source, and L for License Type. Include all of these and you're in great shape. In previous videos, we reviewed the differences between Creative Commons licenses from the least restrictive CC BY to the more restrictive, such as a CC BY NC and D license. If you are gathering Creative Commons licensed works without making any changes to them, that is considered a collection. It is the easiest and most straightforward to understand. A collection of materials is considered an original work and is eligible for its own Creative Commons license as a collection. When you license your collection, a good guideline is to use a license that mirrors the most restrictive license in your collection. For instance, if you include a CCNC work in your collection, use CCNC as the license for the entire collection. Or if you want, you could create different collections based on their license. For instance, a collection of CC BY works licensed under CC BY, and a separate collection of CCNC licensed works under a CCNC license. For instance, if you needed a collection of MUCA artwork, as I have collected here, I can name my collection and give it the same CC license as the most restrictive license in my collection. If your collection does not adapt any works, that is to say you do not change any of the works you have included, you can use any work that has a no derivative license and you do not have to apply a share alike license to your collection even if you include share alike works in your collection. But what if you want to change a Creative Commons licensed work? If you mix together sections of Creative Commons licensed works, for instance using sections from different CC licensed materials, excluding any work with the ND license or no derivatives license, to create a new chapter for a textbook, for instance, each source you use needs to be cited. Here's an example of an original MOOCA and an adapted work based on the original. Notice the difference in the tassel information provided. As with a collection, you can license your remixed works as a new work. It must be compatible with the license used for instance, use of an SA license in your work means your entire work must be licensed under the same SA license. This chart may be a helpful guide in understanding how licenses work when you are remixing Creative Commons licensed works together. In this video, you have learned how to collect Creative Commons works into a collection, how to properly cite them, what to do if you want to alter and cite a Creative Commons work, how to properly cite alterations, and in the next video we will review the creation of collections for open educational resources using and remixing materials published under Creative Commons licenses.